I just met Gabe in here, guys. What? I'll try and get to um the Rakno Roar. <clears throat> yeah, nothing wrong with those clouds, eh? <laughs> that one's for you, my little fairy metal friend. <laughs> I personally haven't explained the non solucent clouds. Um, why is, uh... <clears throat> Why are they about 80,000 feet too low? <laughs> okay, so we know our atmosphere didn't shrink that much, did it? Our thermosphere? Um, maybe it's something we did to it. Maybe it's something, maybe it's something we put in it. Okay. Hey guys. Yeah, no? Could be. Okay, just, just wait and put my glasses on. <sighs> There's the scene for the day. Okay, just just kidding. I'm getting ready. Put the pipes playing in the background there. Two of them. So 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 we're not <clears throat> we're not actually copyright infringing here. Uh, <clears throat> although I have I have requested from um the two Canadian girls that uh, run the station. I don't know if it's their tunes or not. Uh, I have emailed a request because I think, <clears throat> I think I, I think they're good additions for the audition for the Millennium movie um, <clears throat> trailer. And um, well, it's gonna take all of us to make this movie. And well, as we all know, we have to expedite things. There's not, uh, there, there's not a thousand years left. Ready, dogs? Far, far less than 72 years left. Uh, to complete this task. To which we all know we're, we're screwed even if we don't do it. Well, we're just gonna give you some non-solucent clouds. <clears throat> Might as well tell you a little bit about <clears throat> what we knew of the old style of non-solucent clouds <clears throat> at, you know, 80,000 feet and up. Um, Basically, it was kind of mirror the ocean, just like that, where you have not just thermal panes and whatnot separating the layers and saline, but heavy influence on electromagnetic influence and the whole works. But we're going to keep it real simple. We're going to say, imagine where the ocean 
meets the first heaven. And how things change and the surface of the ocean changes, the waves. Right? Okay. So basically what you're seeing is a reflection from as above meeting so below. Wow. Fuck man, we, we, we I mean our atmosphere, even even had we not done things like Fukushima. Uh, <laughs> Chemtrailing, electromagnetic frequency pollutions of all frequencies we could possibly justify creating. Like, go tell me this isn't somebody fucking that knows what they're doing pulling the strings. I just, I just can't believe that you managed to keep your professionals <clears throat> this fucking compartmentalized that that they can't put it together. I guess that's the power of convenient belief, eh? If, if I just quack, 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 I'll get another paycheck out of them. That's what we've all been reduced to. Right? Not a very living way to be. Let's just see if the moon's still looking good. I'm on a 40x optical zoom here, by the way. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, how much time are we going to spend on trying to get these fuckers to come clean about their own mistakes and liabilities? You know, like, it's a liberating feeling to know you're bankrupt and you got, you're losing it all anyhow, so now all of a sudden you got all this fucking freedom? Okay, well think like that, only you know the debts will chase you for as long as you exist, uh, which clearly ain't going to be long for any of us. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, you're never going to escape that sort of Damocles. I'm sorry there is no immortality, not even for those that <clears throat> thought they had it. Not here, not anymore. Because, uh, you know, how can you say you're living in mortality in the <clears throat> compact dimension of the black sun, the singularity. There's no conscious in there. There, there, there cannot be. And there's certainly a cohesiveness that's non sequitur. Oh, look at all the birds coming to us. Isn't that wonderful? Well, not coming to us, I mean coming our way. I didn't, didn't mean to imply I had that kind of relationship with these birds. Oh, it's just beautiful. I'm gonna have to take a few shots of these and send them into spaceweather.com. Where they act as both archives for uh, later science research. <coughs> basically specimens to come after. Uh, we're uh, Tuesday uh, evening here. You know how quickly they shifted with the uh, lower trough of the jet stream, I would imagine. So, you know, it's quite possible this all came from... Well, it doesn't matter, it's a concentration. It, it, what you know about one medium, such as uh, water, is somewhat true in what we call air, uh, as well as <coughs> in all the different heavens. It, you know, it's, it's all related because the physics are related. Sure, there's differences and there's more variables in one than the other. Oh, wait guys, what's pooping? Hey, hey, wait. Hey, well. Yeah. Piss off. Don't bother me while I'm pooping. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate here. <laughs> what I meant to show you was our tumbleweeds. Aren't those beautiful? That's like, uh, you know, eight feet across. I'm, that's, they're so big. That's the perfect weather. But it wouldn't be perfect weather for them for very long. 
getting this wet, then I wouldn't be able to compete with, with, with whatever all of a sudden has an advantage. So guys, we're, we're doing a river road. Flora Fleck. Yeah, that works. Yeah, well, this certainly helps this road recover the uh, <clears throat> the dinosaur that came and <laughs> hacked it all down. The Argo dinosaur. <laughs> to try and keep people from dumping um, extremely dangerous biohazards into the irrigation canal. And the aquifer. You know, the dogs, poaching scraps, that kind of thing. Some of these. Okay, recall from previous ones. Oh, Cindy's turn. <laughs> hey, Cindy, <laughs> are you concentrating? <laughs> well, Barrett, it's your turn next. I need to know who had that black poop sitting in the yard. I thought it was Mo from eating rotten potatoes. She just insisted on having one and then a second one. Puked the second one up. <laughs> And, and what, it took how long to poop the, three days to poop out the rotten one? <sighs> Remarkable creatures. Who else saves up their own food, huh? In the harsh conditions of winter. And poop on the trail and it works to mark the trail and if they don't find nothing, well, before starving to death and dying of hypothermia, they can eat their own poop again. As long as it's yours and it's been frozen, you're not catching disease. So. Don't read too much into this pinky <coughs> pink program. <laughs> Silly little AI. Okay, come on, guys. Okay, here's a nice shot of the mud. Okay, wait guys. They gotta have a sniff. No eating anything. We don't know what that helicopter's been, uh, Johnny Copter Seed's been dropping. And the birds eat all kinds of stuff you shouldn't. Oh yeah, let's try and do a moon shot here. I think we've got a nice sight. Oh yeah, right up the alley. Not even gonna use my glasses. Come on, Moon, where are you, damn it? I know you're there somewhere. I wish you could change the magnification without ending the film. I know, I know. Get an editing program that works. None of these work. There we are. There you are, you little bugger. Oh, the full moon sure is yellow, eh? Cl clearly, whatever was extra was in those non-solucent clouds. I haven't had time to keep up on the uh, first and second having volcanic emissions lately. Obviously I've been dealing with a uh, pilching uh, mimicking uh, crisis. Oh. 
where Mr. Wizard Within was and Hello No somewhere, no no one or whatever the hell was trying to pull whatever the hell they were trying to pull, I don't know. But it was quite convenient. That way. I'm sure I'll get some sort of sellers out of the time invested. <clears throat> because this is ongoing. Um, subterfuge. Covet cheating game. That's uh, destroying the value of our fuck YouTube. Which we invested a lot of goodwill in. I mean, granted, we can take our stuff elsewhere. It's a better equip, better server, and, and more secure.